Hello, sir. How are you doing? Right. Yeah, good, thank you. Just in time to give me a full start. Uh, well, yes. <laughs> I've returned the favour. Yes. <laughs> wow. We have a brief oasis in the weather on this very switchy day. I just about get away with a crosswind takeoff and talk about airflow. When I came here, the wind was blowing that way. Then it was blowing this way, and now it's going that way. So, we now have a southerly, we did have a northerly, and we did have a westerly. The weather's been terrible lately for flying, and now we've got the thermals. It's pulling the wind all directions. The wind is now easterly. We've had literally every direction. Every direction. Okay, here goes Kieran. Go on, son. Third wing layout of the day. The wind is coming from the southwest. I'm pointed northwest. So I'm just going to pull it up, give it a little bit of power, stabilise. I'm going to go for a stable launch, not just bang it on. As you look at this, the wind is coming from the right hand side. I knew the wing wouldn't come up straight, so I just gave it half power and then tried to stabilize it and then turn into wind and take off, which seemed to work. Well, that was a dodgy, dodgy, dodgy takeoff. That was a. Here it would be. It was all over. So Lee and Gary are taking off from another field, so me and Kieran are heading out that way to try and find them. So regarding that takeoff, I'm actually quite pleased that I managed to launch 90 degrees away from the wind, crosswind. The wing was falling down to the side and I managed to correct it, move in under the middle and run into wind. I think with these situations, if you're always thinking airflow, airflow, making sure there's air flowing over the wing, that gives you that mindset to save it. One thing I see a lot of people do is they pull the wing up and then kind of forget to keep moving due to the airflow over the wing. So I've got to train myself to always think airflow, airflow. Who do you think you are, an expert? So guys, I'm not an expert, just like flying. Learned a few things. Have a lot more to learn. Oh yes indeed. Oh yes. We are flying. Not ideal weather. 500 feet, just get a bit more altitude. So we've got the gliding club ahead. The weather is not quite good enough for a decent XC, so just a a little bimble. See the guys go for a flight. Too much for sunglasses, to be honest. So this here is Longstow Hall, built in 1580, is an ancient mansion purchased in the reign of Queen Elizabeth I, and stands in about 175 acres, and is now used as a venue for weddings. So I'm just going to come in for my landing now. I'm going to have a bit of a break and a chat and then take the chase cam up for a lovely sunset flight. Here comes Kieran. Is he going to land on his feet? We've got an easterly, we've got a rotor. And he's on his feet. Good job. So heading over to the east field. The wind has been northerly, westerly, southerly and is now an easterly. 
Let's see if we can get a cheeky little bimble in on the east field. 6.27 and we're going flying. It's that time of year. Where? We have more daylight. So I didn't spot Gary or Lee earlier, they are supposed to be coming over this way. So I'm just going to go up and try and get above those clouds there, although they are starting to thin out. And keep my eye open for Gary and Lee. So the winds have become consistently from the east now, they've stopped switching around, the thermals have died off. So it makes for a much easier launch environment and the air feels much smoother as well. It was quite bumpy earlier. So Eric is going to join me and Kieran. Just waiting for them to launch. And then literally out of the blue we see Lee and Gary. Bit of unfortunate timing. Wanted to have a chat but i um, already taken off now. So I'm probably going to stay airborne for... 20 minutes or so, if they're still there, I'll come back down for a landing for a bit of a chat. The plan for this one was to go above the clouds, but the clouds have thinned out and almost disappeared. And it's below zero with thick gloves. So, not a good idea. I'm going to come down, Lee and Gary will come over, I might just see if we can land and have a chat. And Gary's taken off. Your son, you can do it. Nicely done, he's in the air. Is Kieran going to come up? What are you doing, Kieran? He's trying to start his engine. So Kieran has a bit of an issue starting his engine, so he decides not to bother as the light is now fading away pretty quick. Lee and Gary head back to their field. They need to kind of rush back, really, because of, well, it's pretty much sunset now, so um, off they go. Uh, so it's just me and Eric, we're just kind of flying around and enjoying the sunset. So this is the first flight since the clocks went forward and we have some lovely daylight now at this time of year. The evenings are growing longer. Tell you what, that was a satisfying landing. Nice, of lots of energy, played it off, plop. Ah, enjoyed that one. <laughs> 